Good morning, a bit to each and every one of you who has just tuned in to today's edition of Rhapsody of Realities. I welcome you in Jesus' mighty name. Today is June the 7th and our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome, would like to share a message entitled, The Power of the Spirit in Your Words. Hallelujah. Our opening theme verse is from the book of John, chapter 6, verse 63, and I read, It is the Spirit that quickeneth, the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Hallelujah. The excitement during our worship, praise and thanksgiving would not produce life if the contents of the songs are not delivered in words that are consistent with the New Testament of Christ. No matter the shouting, without the spirit, it's empty shout. The spirit makes the difference. When you speak the right words, the spirit acts upon them. For example, it is the reason we can speak from where we are and say to someone who's thousands of miles away, be healed and a blind person in China will receive his sight and someone in faraway Mongolia who's been crippled from birth starts walking. Such things happen because of the power of the Spirit in our words. Words recognize no seasons or barriers. Words are things. They are tangible and potent with creative energy. So do not say, Well, I wasn't serious when I said thus and thus. In the realm of the spirit, everything you say is living and active. It will work for you or against you. That is the reason we emphasize speaking the word only, speaking truth. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, verse 37, For by thy words thou shalt be justified. And by thy words, thou shalt be condemned. Do not use words carelessly. Know, think, talk, and sing the word, whether in merrymaking or in praise to God. Let your life be consistent with God's truths, and you would be amazed at the resultant blessings in your life. Hallelujah. Now, wherever you are, kindly raise your holy hands and take this prayer right after me. Dear Father, I thank you for giving me your word to live by. I utter words that are consistent with your will, plans, and purposes continually, knowing that my words are filled with power to produce results for your glory. I deal and speak wisely always. My words inspire faith in others for healings, salvation, and blessings. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, for you to further understand today's message, I highly recommend you take some time to study these following scriptures. From the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 4, preferably the Amplified Classic Version. From the book of Mark chapter 11, verse 23, Hallelujah, glory be to God. Now you know that your words are so powerful. And you know what you got to do next? You have to share this beautiful gospel to your world. If you have not yet subscribed, kindly click on the subscribe button. And if you are yet to receive the Lord Jesus into your life, this is the time to do so. Wait till the end of this message and follow me as I take you through the prayer of salvation. Your life will never be the same again. And that is a strong promise. Hallelujah. Tune in again tomorrow as we hear from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. You are blessed. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. 
I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tnimsia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.